<laughs> you're really, you're really easy to fool with that. <laughs> this is twice now, except this time it started with some ambience, and then yeah. <laughs> That's even better. We started with ego death playing in the background, some creepy ambience. <laughs> 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 What? So, anyways, um, I'm out of curiosity, Squig. Do you by chance understand the name of the stream? SCP Wiki, because fuck you, Russian man. Do you understand? Uh, that? I do not. So, somebody in Russia decided to trademark the SCP term and logo. Why? Because he could. Game Theory actually just did a video on it, but let me explain this as briefly as I can. So, the way it works is anybody can use it as long as credit is given. But Buddy trademarked it in Russia because the way the Russian law works, they can do that. Um... Yeah, so he has it trademarked in Russia, which mean which means if he wants, he can just go and anything that is SCP related that uses the logo or has just SCP secure contain protect, he can take it down and monetize it. He however does not have copyright um he does not have the copyright for it, which means that he can't take down work outside of Russia. He only has power within Russia itself. But like he can sell merch and whatnot, no problem, because he owns the trademark. Mm. Super annoying and kind of sketchy, but I mean they're they're fighting it. They're they, they are fighting it. They have legal they have like a GoFundMe for legal fees and whatnot. They, they are fighting it. So that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, that's been going on Game Theory. Did a video Markiplier. Markiplier did a thing for it. That's cool. He's, hmm. he's probably the biggest YouTuber to say anything about it because SCP's been a big thing for him. I mean, SCP Containment Breach has been one of his biggest things that made him blow up in the first place, right? Yeah. So, he's doing stuff. Game Theory did a video on it. A few other smaller people, but I figured, why not? Me doing something's not going to add anything, because I have a total of 10 subscribers. Most of them aren't going to watch this, because nobody cares. But, it's also just super interesting. So let's do it. I also have creepy ambience music going on in the background. Because why not? And, uh... I guess that doesn't really matter for reading. I know you can't hear the... If you really wanted to, you could just listen to the stream to hear it. Or pull up right. the same. Do you want me to send you the link to the playlist on over Discord and you can listen to it yourself? I'm <laughs> good. If it's that big of a deal. Anyways, I just started with. Because I, I read this one earlier. This one, I'm not going to read it all. It's not a lot, but I read it earlier and I don't think Squid cares to hear it all again. Long story short, it's a cursed number. The SCP is the article itself. Which actually is just a really cool concept. I don't think there's anything else like it. Like this is a meta. That's a lie. There is one SCP that is more meta than this one. Mm -hmm. um, actually, you know what? I'll try and find that one. Hang on. 
Uh, but no, this SCP is functionally any SCP given the number of, or given the item number of SCP-048 for one reason or another is lost. Which, by the way, this is amend add addendum to is amazing. I want to. I'm going to read this one again because it's just great. SCP-048 data expunged was accidentally thrown into the trash this morning and lost. Was thrown into the trash and lost. How do you just lose an SCP by throwing it into the trash? <laughs> it's great. Um, yeah, give me a minute to try and find the other SCP, figure out what its number is. Okay. Might take a minute because it's kind of a weird one. Oh, hang on, what? This is completely irrelevant, but hang on. 2521. Uh, series 3. They all have a name. Yeah. Mountain Folk, Crimea River, the Special Court, mm. Hatbot Dot, whatever, Goblin Mine. If this is the right one, oh my god, it is! Yeah. That's so cool! This one's creative. Okay. So, Keter. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's Keter. This is what it is, I guess. Mm -hmm. That looks terrifying. I can't tell if this is supposed to mean that it is it, contained or not. It was contained, because it says uncontained. I saw it said uncontained somewhere. I think whenever you searched it on Google. Oh, wait, anyway. did, it, did it pop up when I searched it on Google? Mm-hmm. It wasn't said this steals any information about itself. Oh, I didn't think it. Oh wait, no, you saw that because of Discord. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right, right. Okay, yeah. So yeah, it is uncontained. So. Information. Yeah. So written information, data, like stored, digital information and verbal information does not exist. Only visual information of it can exist. Oh, so, okay, so, and only people level 4 or part of the O5 can view this information. Those underneath okay. cannot view the information. Sticky. Yeah, yeah, it it's sticky. It's, yeah, it's sticky, it can walk, it cannot be contained in conventional things. It's tall as shit, it's sticky, and it's... Finger is our has ribbons for fingers. I guess. 
Sticky um, ribbons for fingers. So I guess it can only decipher written. Uh, yeah. So it it the creature itself cannot understand visual information. I think that's what that means. Because, like, obviously mm-hmm. this, it's speaking, and then, like, a document, it can right, understand right. that, but not the pictures. I'm guessing. So this is D-class person now looks at the picture. And then writes what it means down. Yeah, yeah and as soon yeah. as he starts writing, he shows up, takes it, and he cries. He's like, this mine. See, these are the ones that are really cool to me. Ones that are super, super unique. Oh. So he speaks what he says and he just gets absorbed into his body? We're both gonna... (laughs) If this was real, we'd both already be dead. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe we are already are. But no, like, ones like this, they're just super unique. Just fascinate me. I've been saying eagle death. It's eagle death. (laughs) I don't think anyone cares. No, I just noticed it myself. But yeah, that's, that's super cool. And it doesn't even have a name. Its name is just dot 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 Look at that picture. I want to blow this up. Hang on. That's like cool looking. What is it? It looks kind of like Venom. It reminds me of Venom. You know what it reminds me of? Hmm. Uh, one of I think it is Korn's newest album, The Nothing. Reminds me of that. It's it's got the same like stringy, stringy bits. That's what it mm-hmm. reminds me of. Cause like if you look closely, you can see it's not solid. Like, if you look closely enough, like, e- even here in, like, the darkest parts of it, you can still see there's texture to it. Yeah. But, like, it's all wispy, and... That's super weird. I wonder... Pixel art collapsed. Oh, so it has a pixel art? Yeah. Series 3, 2, 2, 6, 2. Oh, there it is. Uh, down? To the right? Oh, yep. Oh, see, I was looking for a number. There is no number for yeah. it. It's still just dot, 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 dot. That's super cool. Did they do the pictures for it as well? They had the descriptions on this site as well, but the way they do the description here is the text I find really difficult to read. So Mm. I prefer reading it off of this site, but having the images here. That's actually... That's not a bad recreation at all. Uh Uh-uh. Like, 
I'm impressed. Have you seen the one for Red Reality? Uh uh. Oh, it's super cool. Ooh. That's the one for Red, Red Reality. Well, I mean, Red Reality is a bit long to type out for it. Yeah, that's true. But yeah. Or paint out. I, is, do they type that? I don't know. Oh, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. It's long. Mm. Like, the hard to destroy reptile is probably just reptile. Yeah. What's the number for hard to destroy reptile? I think he's one of the first ones, right? Some of them are actually fairly decently lengthened. Uh, does nine 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 have a picture on here? a picture on here ah. so they seem to use a total of four colors on this website we have red black, white and gray white or gray red, white. and yeah. red yeah. and black and that's the only colors they use I don't know, let's see what on here looks cool and then find it on the other site do you see anything that stands out to you uh, uh I know one that stood out to me. Burger King. I was looking at letter. this. Oh. <laughs> it's it's just this. It's a very angry box of cereal. So that's what, three, six, seven, one? Six, seven, series four. So three, six, seven, one. Three, six, seven, one. A very angry box of cereal. Oh, this is a short one. So it's safe. Special containment procedures. This has been barred. SCP blah 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 is to be stored on a labeled shelf in Site 19 break room personnel are free to eat from its contents 3671's appearance and contents are to be photogra photographed and documented daily update following incident on march 13th 2018 scp 3671 is to be stored in a medium security storage locker in site 19 storage wing storage wing k14 its appearance and contents are to be photographed and documented daily any harmful substances within de within deposited appropriately description SCP blah 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 is a standard sized generic brand cereal box each day at 6 30 a.m. local time a new bag a new plastic bag of <coughs> cereal objects will manifest <laughs> inside it replacing the previous bag and its contents if they have not been removed its packaging will also change to match its new contents as an ins as an incident scp blah 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 is believed to be sentient and aware to an extent of its surroundings records of scp 3671's appearance and content so Ooh, we have some logs. Okay. February 22nd, 2018. Its label was strawberry squares. Contents were square wheat pieces, pink in color, and strawberry flavored. No notes. March 5th. Bacon Blast. 
bacon flavored corn puffs. The taste is described as unusual, but not unpleasant. No notes. March 12th. Okay, question. Choco or choco? Choco. Or cocoa? Choco. Choco, choco chunks? Yes. Okay. Granola pieces covered in milk chocolate. Notes. Dr. Frank Wright accidentally tore the box while removing the plastic bag inside. The very next day, label. Fuck you, I give cereal every <laughs> single day, and this is how you repay me. <laughs> Contents, <laughs> razor blades. <laughs> Notes, first recorded of, in, of instant of SCP-3671 manifesting non-food objects. <laughs> March 15th, seriously man, you're an ass. The least you could do is apologize. Contents, assorted push pins and tags. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no notes. March 20th, what do you call a box of grains that goes on a killing spree because somebody couldn't have bothered to open it carefully? A serial killer. Seriously though, I hate you. Contents, <laughs> bullets of various calibers. <laughs> <laughs> March 25th. Alright, I'm tired of ranting ranting at you guys. Accidents happen. Even if you could have dealt with this one better, what do you say? We just go back to being friends. Content. Cornflakes testing revealed them to contain lethal amounts of cyanide. Huh. March 26th. Shit. I thought you guys would fall for that one. I still hate you, by the way. Pieces of military grade plastic explosives. <laughs> oh, and then April 2nd. I will murder you, Frank. I will find out where you live. I will slit your goddamn throat while you sleep. You will pay for what you did to me. Just you wait. Contents. Various human teeth oh. that to match those of Dr. Wright in both shape and genetic material. Note, Dr. Wright requested and was granted a security detail. However, SCP-3671 is currently not to believe, not, to, not believed to be capable of acting upon the threats given. Wow. Grimmel pieces covered in milk chocolate. Notes, Dr. Frank accidentally tore the box. Label, fuck you, I give you cereal <laughs> every single day and this is how you repay me. Razor blades. <laughs> Corn flakes. Testing revealed them to contain lethal amounts of cyanide. <laughs> <laughs> I still hate you, by the way. I still hate you, by the way. <laughs> I like how it's like, I still hate you, by the way. Various human teeth found to match those of Dr. Rainbow. I'm sorry, but like, imagine you go to get a box of cereal and it just says, I will murder you, Frank. I will find where you live. I will slit your goddamn throat while you sleep. You will pay for what you did to me, Frank. Just you wait, Frank. That'd be terrifying. Oh wow, yeah, so on the, the art mark it just says fuck you, on the side it says die, and then yeah, there's a razor blade, there's a tax, ah. and I'm assuming those are teeth. What else do we got here? What's the Where's Waldo one at the bottom? I don't know. Find him. Was that 4885? 
that's series five, four, eight, eight, five. This is not like ambient music. Get out of here. Like the sounds we've gotten to like death metal, not ambience. Hmm. Eight eight five. Eight eight five. Ooh, it's a lengthy one. Like not super lengthy, but no information regarding any specific location of Earth is to exist on SCP-4885's file unless given direct permission by the O5 Council. No information regarding any specific location on Earth is to exist on the file. Interesting. So it's Keter. Special containment procedures. Currently, it is only theorized that SCP-4885 is contained. It's only theorized to be contained? What? To further elaborate, 4885 is contained within an unknown Class 17 containment chamber with an unknown site in the event that SCP-455, oh my god, 485, breaches containment procedure in that you is to be enacted, which consists of the following procedures. 36 class 17 containment chambers are to be connected into an independent self-driving vehicle at all times. 216 inactive containment chambers are to be ready, readily available in case of sudden and unforeseen breach of 4885's containment. One Class D subject is of stable mental health is to be submitted into the vehicle and driven into the system. A cryptog cryptographically Graf cryptographically secure pseudo random number generator is to choose a random number between 1 and 36 and the vehicle is to be transported to a containment chamber based on the number chosen each containment chamber has a single digital monitor that's capable of outputting a video at 720p resolution. Once a Class D subject is transported to a random chamber, a message is to be sent to every monitor simultaneously. English, thank you. Simultaneously. Assistance, please. Uh, wait, what, where? Oh, simon simultaneously. 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 Close enough. This message consists of the current location of 455. I did it again. 4885, delivered via an implanted tracking device. The GPS is only accessible by level 5 personnel or SCP 4885's containment staff on a need to know basis. After approximately two hours, each containment chamber is to be transferred to a randomly designated foundation site via self-driving trucks. The trucks are to be disguised as a packaging service in order to prevent suspicion. In the event that an accident occurs during the stage procedure, invent urm is to be enacted again. So I think the reason why it's saying it's only theorized is because if it's confirmed, then that means that there is a set location in which he is sitting and no information regarding any specific location on Earth is to exist within the file. Which is also why everything is so vague and everything is so random with the pseudo-random mm -hmm. number generated to choose between one of 36 sites. 
in order to avoid any form of place on earth if that makes sense mm -hmm. so there was no personnel who were aware of the SCP's existence are to go within 100 meters of any class 17 containment chamber because every because any class 17 chamber could contain him or it so they can't go within 100 meters several signs and warnings have been placed around each chamber labeling it as a water treatment room and that attempted access is punishable by immediate amnestication and loss of employment as decided by the ethics community committee so amnestics and anesthesia in anesthes this kind of shit is just like your memory is wiped basically these warnings tell personnel to report to a nearby automated site overseer of any leaks from the chamber in which the person will be visually amnestized am memory wiped by the overseer I'm just gonna say memory wiped because my English skills are dog shit and procedure okay. invent room will be reenacted for more information regarding the composition of class 17 containment chambers please consult document I'm not gonna read the number currently <coughs> excuse me hang on what currently SCP 48851 instances are located via far to dot AIC are contained within location I. The whereabouts of location I are only known to the FAR2 AIC. Currently, AIC is connected with 80% of CCTV security cameras within the United States and 40% of CCTV security cameras on Earth. I don't like how it says dash one because that means there's more than one. Mm. Hmm. 48851 instances discovered by AIC have specialized foundation carrier drones to be dispatched and attempt to grab the body and carry it to location I using routes that minimize the chance of unwanted civilian interference in the event that a civilian notices a drone and 4885 breaches containment the drone will be set into an all will send an all alert message to 445's containment team and procedure in red farm a ambient erm will be enacted in the event that locations i whereabouts are discovered at large the next personal location within document print the town yellow paint the town yellow i'm dumb will establish the next location i and their immediate family will be notified of their death uh -huh. weird description scp-4885 is an anomalous humanoid resembling the main character in a popular series of puzzle books where's wally known in the u.s as where's waldo this entails that 4885 wears a horizontal red and white striped shirt, red and white bobble hat, and jeans. However, a noticeable difference in appearance is the characters from the character is the entity's paler skin and lack of eyes. <laughs> in the event that the subject knows that 4885's current location is at any given time or at any given time, 4885 will move to the nearest wall and begin to phase into it. 4885 will appear inside the subject and will reach up the esophagus and grab the subject's chin through their mouth. 4885 will then proceed to pull themselves through the subject, destroying their internal organs and their spine. Once this has occurred, a yellow liquid will exit the corpse's mouth and cover the subject entirely, which causes it 
to become an SCP-4885-1 instance. Uh... 4885 will remain in its current location, occasionally patrolling the area until another person discovers its location once again. Oh, okay, so the reason why no information regarding any loca specific location on Earth is to exist is because on the off chance that 4885 is at that location and they know of the location that he's currently at, he will immediately appear and kill the person from the inside out, causing them to turn into the 48851. Mm. That's cool, actually. However, if SCP-4885 is close enough to the subject, when they discover the location, they will instead approach the subject, attempt to climb into the subject's mouth, enter their abdomen, and exit their body through the subject's pelvis. During this time, 4885 can easily dislocate slash relocate any joint on in its body, and its skin and muscles will gain the consistency of a malleable solid, allowing it to easily climb into and out of the subject. 4885 instances are anomalous corpses that were created by 4885. The entire body of an SCP, of an SCP-4885-1 instance is covered in illustrations similar to those in Aware's Wally books, in many different, with many different characters appearing on the instance's skin. These illustrations originate from the liquid that exists in the corpse's mouth. Currently, no inch, no instances of the cartoon character. I'm just gonna say Wally because it's just a Waldo. No, no, I'm gonna say Wally. Yeah, I'm gonna say Wally. Sure, Wally. Wally. Wow. No, currently, no instances of the cartoon character Wally have been found on a four eight eight five one instance. These illusions cannot be removed from the subject unless the skin it's placed on is removed. If a subject knows the location to any given SCP-48851 instance, SCP-4885 will teleport itself to the subject and kill them in the exact same manner as if they discovered 4885 itself. This will also transform them into a 48851 instance. Instance. Yeah, instance. That's the word. 4885 was discovered residing in location redacted <clears throat> within <laughs> how else are you supposed to read that within like yeah within location redacted within a small wooden house well that's a location a small wooden house is a location <laughs> mobile task force g19 unrelenting punishment was then sent to capture an entirely separate anom an anomaly and did not know of 4885's existence <clears throat> so this is a talk i'm just gonna so i'm just gonna refer to them by their number instead of saying m each time just to save absolutely no time whatsoever <clears throat> so one mic check two Yep. And <laughs> three yep. says all good. This is super awkward to read with a monotone voice. Yep, all good. Equipment check, everything's working in. Okay, how about this? How about this? Let's make this fun. Why don't I be one and I'll be three and you can be two? Okay. Okay. Mic check. Yep. <clears throat> All good. <laughs> Equipment check. 
everything's working fine and working as intended. <clears throat> Dude. Oh. Transcript number 67. We are entering the house. No one is talking. To, no one's talking to you, Melly. Is Melly with the oh, stairs? Oh yeah, no, it's just the no, it's just its name. Oh, stop it. Now now it's the time. Now's not the time to <laughs> Right. Sorry. The group enters the house. <laughs> Initial description of the objects were a pair of black spectacles capable of killing the user and covering their body in strange pictures of an unknown children's book. It was obviously where's what? Kurt, stay professional. I just wanted to bring some life into M's one robotic speech. <laughs> I'm just trying to do my job, Kurt. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. The group searched the ground floor for the object and began to go upstairs, scraping noises. Noises, sure, are heard below them, but the group does not notice them. There's a picture on the wall. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, looks weird. Looks like crayon. Uh, take a picture. You suck at this. It's already on it. Good. Think it has something to do with the nominally? Of course. It looks like Waldo. I think this is the picture. Let's take a look at the picture. Oh, oh, oh. Uh oh. I think I zoomed in too much. A little bit. Waldo found mommy? Waldo found mommy. That's what the picture says. Uh huh. I'm looking at it. Do any uh, of you have an idea on where the object might be? I think it's in here. Which room is this? Um, bathroom. There's a toilet and uh, a shower. At least I think it's a shower. <laughs> the room is circular with normal porcelain toilet at the other end of the room. There is a small depression in the floor leading to a small drain. modified sprinkler on the ceiling. There's a switch on one side of the room that I assume would activate the sprinkler. Seeing as this house has been abandoned for several years, I doubt it would work. And three activates the switch. Water begins to come begins to come out of the sprinkler. Ah, I stand corrected. Who's paying the water bill for this to work? Is it still hot? M3 touches the water and immediately recoils in pain. It's scalding. Who is M2? I, I have discovered the object. It's, it was arrested, uh, resting on the toilet. M2 is seen holding a pair of black circular glasses. The lenses appear to be missing. Yeah, because Waldo wears glasses. Good, you know the drill. M2 carefully examines the object, checking for fingerprints or any other traces of evidence. A small set of fingerprints were discovered on the temples of the glasses, which were revealed to be his own. Yep, these are the ones. I'll put these in the baggie real quick. <laughs> in the baggie. In the baggie M2, real quick. M2 produces a plastic bag from a small container around their waist and places the glasses inside. There's an inscription here. It's um 
Redacted. Redacted. <laughs> Uh, it's most likely meme meant it. Okay, let's let me translate it. I have training. Memetic. Memetic. Meme tick. <laughs> meme tick. No, it's memetic. Memetic. I think it's memetic. I'm like eighty percent sure it's memetic. M2 takes out a small foundation load translator and inputs the inputs the phrase. This is also you. <laughs> Sorry, I was tapped out. <laughs> huh? Well, never mind. It doesn't appear to be mem meme tick. Memetic. The basement. I know. I'm just saying it. Memetic. Damn it. Um. The base. The basement. The corpses from the shadows are good. In the basement, he sees the two for, and then it cuts off. Hmm. Take a picture and we'll send it back. M2 begins to groan and hold their stomach. Are you okay? What happened? A set of fingers exit M2's mouth and grab their jaw. The hand pushes down, launching the jaw across the room. SCP-4885 exits M2's body. What the f- Both M1 and M3 begin shooting at 4885. The entity charges towards M1 and shoves their fingers, shoves their fingers down their throat and begins clawing into their mouths by unhinging their jaw. Oh my god. Please fuck. Oh god. Please, please command. We're at location redacted. I repeat location redact redacted. We need assistance ASAP. Help. That's sick. <sighs> when the transcript was... Yeah, you're the one who wanted to read this one. I, I guess so. When the transcript transcript was received by a nearby site, the site almost immediately went into lockdown as 4885 killed all, most of its personnel. The O5 Council enacted an emergency meeting and procedure in invent erm was created. Shortly after this the procedure was enacted, SCP-4885 was theorized to be contained. All information regarding 4885's location of discovery was removed via an automatic algorithm, and 4885's file was created. Hmm. Your description is just, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Now, there's one thing. Location eyes location eyes creation short little thing could be interesting note from Leeds re lead researcher Andrew Bent and I want to point out like all these names that they came up with are completely fictional but some of them stretch several SCPs I know Dr. Bright I think was one mm. and like he's got a whole backstory and like everything that stretches several, several things. It's super, super interesting. Uh, so anyways, recently I was alerted to, alerted to the apparent danger of SCP-4885 and the corpses that it creates. Sure, we have procedure and been arm, but there are presumably hundreds of SCP-4885-1 instances that we cannot contain at all. And even as the O5 Council has stated, they do not know how to contain the corpse. Here's my proposal. I will require no D-class person, D-class, nor any help from anyone. I will create an algorithm for drones and other machines to detect 
SCP-4885-1 instances, grab them, and deliver them to a specific location, which I will refer to as Location I. Location I, as far as, as far as any of you are concerned, will not exist. This Location I will be, no, will be known to nobody except for me and me alone. I will establish Location I in the algorithm that I have created, and I will allow SCP-4885-1 instances to be dropped off at Location I. Any of you that know SCP-4885 effects will know where this is going. Once Location I has been established and the algorithm is up and running, I will exile myself to a location that, as far as any of you are concerned, will not exist. I will cast myself to the forest and I will wait for 4885 to take me. Roughly three days after I exile myself, activate procedure and then erm and do not go looking for location I. If you were reading this and you were not in 05, then everything that I said has already happened and this proposal is a success. No need to pray for me, instead pray that you never find Waldo. Uh. Wow. That's super cool. I like these cons of like, where's Waldo? What's the gimmick? Find Waldo. This is a Where's Waldo SCP. What's the gimmick? Don't find Waldo. <laughs> find him and die. And also, that's a super, super interesting way to contain them. Create an algorithm that will put them in a location. And the only person that knows the location is now dead. Mm-hmm. That's a fascinating way to go. Like it, I can't think of any way that it would fail, other than say the algorithm failed or somebody read what the flipped algorithm the was. What? Fli or someone flipped the switch on accident. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, in theory, the way the algorithm would work is it's most likely within a contained facility that nobody has access to anymore. And say in theory somebody did find location i what would the and somebody knows where location i is what would happen to them as soon as they figured out where mm -hmm. because remember scp 48851 instances are located within location i and anytime the location of even the 8851 locations are discovered 885 itself comes and kills the person, turning them into an 8851. So even if anybody did find its location, they would then almost immediately be killed and turned into one themselves, and then transported to the location via the drones. Ugh. It's a near foolproof system. Yeah. That's really cool. Also, this man just sacrificed his life to contain these bastards. Mm -hmm. That's 4885. That, that's your Where's Waldo? Find him. But don't find him. Because mm -hmm. if you do, you'll die. You are gonna die. I like how this one's just rock. And the <laughs> picture is this. It's that. That's the picture. Hmm. It's literally just... It doesn't even have a number. Like, mm. we have 4885, 4999, and then S SCP under... Underscore, 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 that's underscore, it. underscore, 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 dash, J. I... I don't know if I can actually find it on there, so I have to read this one. Wait. That's it. 
Okay. Item SCP J Object Class Special Containment Procedures in a box in my item. office. Description It's a rock that makes you procrastinate. Momentum, probably memetic or something. I'll finish writing this up later. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's done so lazily. It's just, it's a rock. <laughs> he'll finish the drawing later. And he'll move the rock later so it's always on his desk. <laughs> I like that the, it's a rock that makes you procrastinate. It's probably mimetic or something. I'll finish this later. <laughs> I just like how simple it is. It's a rock that makes you procrastinate. <laughs> I wonder if they have one for the coffee machine. I forgot what it was. Uh, find me the number, and... Oh, I didn't mean to hit that. Uh, go back. <laughs> Fuck you. 294. Fuck you. I make you cereal every goddamn day. This is how you eat, baby. <laughs> it's, a, it's a funny... Does that say a child soup? What? That just straight up says child soup. Oh. Anyways, what was the number for the coffee machine? Two something? 294. Oh, they have a section just for 001 proposals. Oh, that's the, that's the one. Okay. I think it was a 001 proposal. The one I was mentioning earlier that was like overly meta. Anyways, I forgot the number again. It's 294. Two nine seven. No, it doesn't. I got two nine seven and then three oh six. Wow. Oh, cup of Joe right above. It's two nine eight up there. Right, oh the wait, left. did you say two nine? F did I you say two nine four? Two nine four. Uh, I thought it was two nine eight. Oh, cup of Joe one nine eight. It's it's two nine four though. Wait, are we talking about? Okay, wait, are we talking about cup of Joe or coffee? Coffee. Okay. <sighs> coffee. Oh yeah, it's the the coffee. How long is it? Ooh, dang. All right, I'm gonna summarize this. Oh, it's all amendments. Okay. There's some interesting ones. Long story short, you type shit in and it makes it, as long as it's mm. liquid. So let's take an agent has made a complete recovery after four weeks of rest, after hydrate, x-ray, detecting, blah, 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 I don't care. So after reviewing the document, I suggested testing to retrieve specific liquids from a distance. After recovery, with the overseeing of an O5, a cup of SCP-47's secretion was used as input. The product was proven to be requ the requested liquid, and the cup was able to successfully contain the material. However, the report of incidents of incidents incident incident 07507 was acknowledged two hours after the test. I don't know what 75 is, so. Researcher punched a request in for a cup of gold in the machine, pre dispensed a, molt a cup of molten gold. Researcher requested similar precious minerals with the materials with the same result. Researcher punched in from a safe distance a request for a cup of anti water. The machine. You're not the machine hummed briefly, then displayed out of range on the entry pad. It is theorized that 294 has a limited range of collection and cannot reach into alternate universes slash dimensions. What is a cup of anti-water? It's anti-water. Hmm. Researcher punched in a request for diamond. Briefly hummed, out of range, popped up. 
SCP gives this result for all solid substances as diamond is a solid crystalline form from carbon. It appears the machine will not dispense liquid carbon. This does, this does not result in a diamond when a cup of carbon was subsequently punched and the machine dispensed a cup of liquid carbon. SCP-294 is immune to the damaging effects of dispensed liquids. <laughs> Testing for a range of 294's capacity for retrieval has been initiated. A unique compound has been formulated composed of undisclosed ratios of brand bleach, brand cola, and met RX powder. And Graham mess 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 but no no no. The fluid was created and placed in a sealed container 25 meters away from SCP-294. When requested, the fluid was dispensed. An equal amount of the mixture was no longer present in its original container. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at the more interesting things. Under observation of the four personnel, keyed in the request for the best drink I've ever had. And oh, dispensed yeah. a fluid similar in appearance to cola. The researcher identified it as a mixed drink he recalls having at a bar during his bachelor party. It was conceived and was mm. convinced it's the best drink. <laughs> Did not know what ingredients were in the drink besides rum and cola. For the tests are scheduled to ascertain how blah 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 gathers information. Somebody else put in the best drink I've ever had and it was delivered a dark fluid topped with white foam that was later identified as Vienna Lager. The cup was printed with the color picture of five men and two. Thank you for the clarification. Five men and two, thank you, two women drinking beer on the beach. <laughs> was one of them, and his briefing agent <laughs> confirmed that his favorite drink was the Vienna Lager and consumed at the beach with his friends. It has now been confirmed that has SCP has the ability to directly gather information from someone's mind in order to complete the conditions. Subject keyed the perfect drink. The machine dispensed a cup of an odorless lavender liquid. After drinking the liquid, the subject appeared to go on to go into shock. Subject later committed suicide, leaving a note which read, I'm sorry, but at this point everything is just one big letdown. Requesting that a drink requesting such a drink again is highly discouraged. None of the components of the drink have yet been identified. Sure. Subject keyed in something Casey would like. The device heard a hum, was heard to hum for three seconds before dispensing an empty cup. Printed on the side of the cup was an image of a traditional soda fountain glass filled with something brown and topped with whipped cream. Upon introduction to 085, it was identified by her as a chocolate banana milkshake and judged delicious. I remember Cassie what itself was an SCP, but I can't remember what it was either. I'll have to look at that. Um, anyways, I, I I'd really... Cup of music? Yeah. I saw one down here that caught my eye. Um, Cup of Joe? Or... No, a researcher produced a request for the blood of Christ. SCP-294 vibrated and produced a message. And produced a paper drinking cup containing approximately 0 0.212 liters of red grape wine. Um, real quick, out of curiosity,
for this is my uh. blood. Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is my blood. And it produces a cup of wine. That's good attention to detail right there, right, right there, because it's even Latin. Mm -hmm. That that's good. I like that. That's good attention to detail. Um, a cup of sim similitan blood. A cup. Uh, request. Oh, requests for sublimate blood. Cup of passenger pigeon blood. Cup of Thomas Jefferson's blood and receives three out-of-range errors. You sure? Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> Dr. King produced a request for a cup of room temperature superconductor and received a cup of apple juice with seeds floating in it. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's just so random. A cup of room temperature superconductor. It's apple juice with seeds. <laughs> Judging by the other things, like the message of the blood of Christ, I'm assuming there's some explanation, but I can't think of one. Um, the butler one. What about that one? Six six two. Six six two. What? Eight six two seven six six six. Oh, sorry, six 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 J. Um. I don't see I don't think they have six, it. Six, yeah, because six three three and then six six six. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I'll try and find one of the spookier ones. Spooky. Satan. What? Satan. Just straight oh. Satan. After the one that changes, what happens after? Yes, it is. Okay, okay. I gotta look at this one again because I want to actually show you what this one looks like. Like, in the site itself is super, super cool. Mm -hmm. The way they do it. was it 2718 what happens after look at this look at the item number Whoa. this one I don't know if I ever mentioned it to you but I mentioned it to Angel last night this SCP and I'm not even joking if I remember correctly, is death itself. Like, I guess after, like, yeah. like, like, not the Grim Reaper showing up at the site. No, 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 not, not that death. Like, literal death. Like the word definition? Or no, like... no, like the actual dying. Like, death, okay. death, death, like, just, just the concept of death itself. You know how, like, something's alive or something's dead? Mm-hmm. Well, not the dead thing. Well, but, yeah. But the dead. Mean, yeah. I don't... That's the only way I can think to explain it. It's just the part of yeah, being uh -huh. dead. Uh -huh. So, it's a, it's a cognito hazard, which means even knowing it, even knowing of its existence, is bad. Hmm. So... Demurring eyes only. So. Whoa. You could see. Agent instructions. The breach is to which. The breach to which you are responding has already been mostly contained by an automated system. And containment will be com 
complete when you restart this term terminal. However, your orders are to attempt to improve the current containment procedures by all means possible within the time allotted to you. You have been temporarily granted an administrative network access to this terminal. Use any resources you don't ne deem necessary. Term. I am so bad at English. You deem necessary to fulfill your mission, but do not expose yourself to the cognito hazard in the description. The following technical details will help you in your task. As noted above, I'm not going to read all of this. This is basically saying how they can make it easier to contain without knowing what it's about. But if we scroll down, that said, wait, that said something. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Shift, damn it. Anyway, I got to go. Yeah. Alright. Um, when you get the chance, I definitely recommend watching a video on this one. There's videos out there. It's super interesting this one. What is it? 2718. Okay, I'm just gonna take the ignorance so I don't. 2718. That's the way I remember it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll see it. Alright, later. Bye. Alright. There you go, ma'am. This interpreter is a new technology, but will allow you to forego the use of a keyboard for article book creation. Just speak naturally to the microphone and go back and revise any errors after you've finished. Uh -huh. There it is. Okay. My name is. I'm going to say. I'm going to guess Miriam Prather. I've been 057 for 77 years. I will remain so for perhaps 7 minutes more. And that is not enough time to devise adequate special containment procedures myself. I leave that to you. Over the course of my tenor, ten, ten sir, ten, I have witnessed 19 distinct anomalous methods to restore life. The devices and entities responsible take the vastly different forms, but when you look past the science of magic to the razzle-dazzle, there are fundamentally two broad but simple categories. The first type is replication, whereby a clone simulacrum or other copy is made of the subject's mind and body as it existed at some point during life. The second is temporal, which this repo, rep, rep, uh, <clears throat> with this approach, the space-time paths of the subjects constitute constitute particles are reverted, and events literally undone until the subject is restored to a functional state. Why is stupid icon appearing? Thank you. These two categories of have crucial crucial commality the rest of restored individual has no memory or experience of death to put it another way despite 2.4 million years of home no home no home need i can't pronounce half this shit speculation foundation records contain no reliable first-hand testimony regarding what happens to us after we die we have other sources of information, naturally, but in light of recent events, I believe that the SCPs we have interrogated on this topic over the years are guilty of either ignorance or deceit. For you see, we have in invented an exception. Six months ago, we resurrected Roger Sheldon, formerly 0511, with a novel procedure. The theoretical groundwork has existed for some time, but for many litany of reasons, the complexity of the purpose, the technical skill required, the systematic risks, not to mention the enormous cost, only direct need justified the attempt. Direst? Direst? 
whatever. At 73, Roger was the youngest overseer when he died. He had two ha habits which were peculiar for an 05, only marginally tolerated by the rest of us at the time and now forbidden. The first was an obs obstinate refusal to fortify, as we called it, to enhance his longevity with the supplements available to those to those of our station. The second was a pension for taking his holidays unannounced and in utter solitude. When a stroke ended him 18 years ago, he was perched on a rocky promontory above the marine iguana nesting grounds in Espinola Island, on Espinola Island. It took 14 years to find his remains. We would not have gone on looking for so long, but for two reasons. He kept his person, he kept on his person a certain key, of which I shall not say more, except that it could not be allowed to stay lost, and he held in his brain a secret word, without which we could not replace him. The alternating galophage rains and bright sun and perhaps hawks had reduced him to a moldering ruin of bone fragment and only the stubbornest sin. The recovery crew used brooms and bags to collect as much of him as remained. The artifact was retrieved to our relief, but we still faced with a daunting task of extracting his shibboleth. Let's go with that, shibboleth. So with little original material to work with, none of the time-tested methods of recovery were, were feasible. It distresses me to say so, but it's unlikely that any records of our methodology will survive to the impending purge. Suffice to say that having gathered his diaspora, we set out to reconstruct a quantum approximation of him physically, chemically, electrically, with sufficient accuracy that his heart would resume its beat. His synapses? Hi. Good night. You actually scared me. Yeah. What ended up happening because the thing I'm reading is kind of on the spooky side. Right? The thing I'm reading it's kind of on the spooky side and there's like spooky ambient music in the background and out of the corner of my eye it's dark and my door starts opening and I looked over and I looked at the white screen and I looked over and I couldn't see what it was immediately <sighs> scared the shit out of me good night <laughs> I'm glad I have it otherwise I wouldn't know where I was um, we could try a uh, guy electro with sufficient accuracy that his heart was on its beat, his synapses would fire, and his mouth would move it briefly. As we required but one aitoa of information from him, we hoped at best that he would survive long enough to provide it and then simply expire again. However, as it's so often the case, we outdid ourselves. All the king's horses and all the king's men could indeed put him back together again. That's a fun reference. Roger was perfectly reanimated. He emerged from his cocoon, looking a bit health younger and healthier than the last memories of him. He sobbed uncontrollably for some time, unresponsive to any stimulus. Yet, after about half an hour, he relaxed. His expression suddenly turned into utter serenity. and he spoke two unintelligible but clearly joyous words. He was swiftly interrogated, but he responded to her questioning with candor, enthusiasm, and unmistakable relief. We, ex we accept him. We set, accept. Kept. Oh my god. Kept. Where the 
who was I getting zapped from? I am a new level of dumb. You kept him under quarantine and in containment unit for 30 days. He offered you no objection and cooperated completely. He behaved as any one of us might under the circumstances, and in the end, after some late debate, we unanimously restored him. Unanimously restored him to office. But we were the ones who remained after a week, and would each of us expect the same? He awarded our hubris by assuming his duties with an inspired vigor, constantly displaying deeper insight and wisdom than ever before. In particular, we welcomed some of your changes to his habits. As soon as the rest of us allowed it, he became regular on his own vacation treatments for the first time. He appointed a sensible entourage of both medical staff and medicos in every third of his person. Previously, an innate sweet man who never made a strong suit, and suddenly he disdained the public interest in the safety of the few individuals that had carried out his foundation experiments distaste for the sacrifice of dangerous personnel. Under the circumstances, none of his, none of this stuck with us particularly here, but it should have. He had concealed the crux of it from all of us. You see, at first, naturally, in our initial interrogation, we asked him if he had any experience or memory of the afterlife. capable of sustaining life indefinitely. While breathtaking long longevity is now within our power and we surprise each other, the immortality is nothing, and our best theoreticians have recently foisted it that it will never be attained. The resurrections we can accomplish is cannot be repeated or even altered to us. Save you life is necessarily intertwined with a quantum uncertainty, localizing a particle of your precision, and it attains infinitely uncertain momentum, lost in an instant. Just so, the longer and more tightly a consciousness is bound to a specific vessel, the more likely it will scatter irretrievably on its own. Regardless of science, which in rules deals with changing direct contact with the VPD impotent. For you are the thoughts of the EP skips or Apex T truly potent entities. I imagine you would go euphism. Euphism? Euphism. <laughs> we kept the initial investigation at a footnote. He'd been clever in covering his tracks. There was no breach of our, no record of me capturing any lab, but one of the skip's guards failed a random amnestic test to his dismay. 
and that was trail of monsters on which to set up bloodhounds. We couldn't prove it, but we imagined he risked exposure to the skip to offer some kind of deal. This couldn't be stand. As two of his oldest colleagues today, O5-2 and I confronted him privately, but he called us off guard, for he confessed everything. He begged for us to help him. I... Recorded his instinctively is probably better. Recorded his pleas as a precaution. It's easiest that I simply replay them for you now. Yeah, probably. Yeah, recording it just to cover her own ass. I dare not. Oh my god, this is. So this is from the perspective of the guy who died. I dared not speak of this at first, even knowing that the end was contained. The truth is, I was aware of it all. I suppose there was a sweet oblivion, deep ones, like deep sleep at first. But in retrospect, I think it was a lonely day, slowly but unmistakably communicated. None of that first merciful hours of blind, down, and alone, but then I seemed to reconnect to every nerve and became aware of every sensation, more so than ever, that I was ever alone. I was ever in life. I perceived myself trapped with an immovable object, and with the intensity of the struggle amplified, subtle. But imagine holding your breath beyond urge, beyond pain, beyond desperation, head throbbing, eyes bulging, a dream of suffocation without end. My skin blistered and wound and split in the sunlight, biting insects descended rapidly. I felt eggs hatch while my chrom gases built and burst within me. Individual cells were souring and blackening, some of my capacity to experience stormy sensations grew, even as I was keenly aware of my cerebrum being scattered and devoured, my perception expanded into the gizzards of the birds in the depths of the fire and dense. I was aware of every fingernail and every strand of hair that pulled away in the wind, and my sensations clung to them as they settled in the ocean and dissolved in the mobs of a trillion diatoms. I don't understand it. The more bits of me there were, the larger my capacity of the perception was pain, as I decayed into pieces smaller than living nerves could possibly distinguish the character of the discomfort changed from burning and aching and breaking I might relate to you in human terms to something no worse that I cannot fully articulate, a terrible, maddening stretching of every part of myself from every other part. Humans often numb to chronic pains in life, do they not? Yet every year, every month, every second that passed, I swear it only intensified over time. In my previous life, I ruminated on heaven and hell, and like le and, and the likelihood of my experiencing one, the other, or something in between, or one, the other, or something in between. As terrible as I imagined it, the torpor of heaven or the torments of hell, this was entirely different from either. In hell. At least you would surely be a, there would surely be a tormentor, some memory of my deeds, some sense of justice, even if my soul rejected its logic. 
I can imagine some comfort in hell for a mind such as mine. I do not think this is a punishment. I do not think it is caused. I deeply suspect it is simply our condition, our nature, to go on this way. Do you see? In all that time, I was certainly, absolutely, totally alone. And before long, all memory of life had shriveled to a cinder, lost beneath my intermingled anguish. Alive again? I suspect, I suspect I cannot quite recall the worst of it, as if my living brain was too small for the experience. As overseers, we witness, inflict, or endure great suffering, yet, we, yet what awaits for us is worse. The way an earache is worse than a bee feasting, the way frostbite is worse than a burn. I was dead for eighteen years, and my misery eludes description. And dare we try to fathom the collective agony of legions of ancient dead? Believe this, I will not return to that execrable existence. Ex I'm going to say excruciating because that fits best. That excruciating existence. Not a hundred years from now, not ever. Yes. I approach Aramin for help. I am sure he could extend all of us if he wished. I offer him great concessions from the foundation, even perhaps release, but he laughed and refused. Yet I, I can think of others willing to trade on a smaller scale for the price of leaving here, he asked. No, nothing compares. Nothing is better so long as it is forever. Do you believe me? Will you join me and together escape this fate? Ooh. Ooh, this song is so much worse than the others. do not like D-Deck. A-Deck, B-Deck were fine, but sounds for this one is D-Deck. It creeps me out more than any others. Damn. <clears throat> we were dumbfounded and suddenly sympathetic and an instant later fearful. I can't remember the last time I felt my heart race so. But we do not operate in a vacuum. A revelation of this magnitude must be brought before the Council for consideration. He was loath to admit his deception before us, the Assembly Council. He was clearly desperate for action as well. We prevailed upon him to call an immediate emergency session in a teleconference. I knew anything less would constitute treachery. Still, as the three of us hurried to the conference room, I suddenly found myself harboring subtle thoughts of <clears throat> and so he gave his testimony again nearly as frank and verbally prosthetic as before but the debate that unfolded and resulted in the wake of it I have never witnessed anything like it there were mostly skeptical skeptical voices at first calm concerned thoughtful However, 058, whose face had grown increasingly pale as he listened to him, was suddenly a passionate advocate for action. We must declare human death a Keter SCP, she demanded, and contain it at any cost. <laughs> contain human death. Absurdity and we girded in an uproar, of course. But Roger had himself had sure had himself a sure ally now. And it spurred him on, shouting over the others that it, to add even darker details to the intensity of his perennial excruciating. 
creation imagery i cannot i cannot repeat sensation i must not contemplate i'm feeling lightheaded oh five two is always a water influencer influence suggest a, suggest a recess and collect ourselves but then oh five three suddenly moved that would order an immediate systematic termination of dangerous skips to better protect ourselves and others oh five six second second but before it could be put to a vote thirteen suddenly clutched his chest in a paroxysmal panic and was being evaluated by his medical technician when when his feet abruptly cut out as the backrest came to a boil it was ten I think it was Nick's convinced oh it's believed the key died it doesn't matter at any rate Tim started pounding his shoe on the table and hollering that we must dig a channel. We must dig a channel through Ascrican Spring to the Mediterranean Sea to fortify all of mankind. That was enough. Suddenly, 051 muted us all and stood red faced and shaking. Regardless of the truth of 0511's experience, she said, it is plain that we have all that we have lost all reason. There is only one possible explanation for this. Therefore, I am declaring emergency protocol 17. Remain where you are. We shall be administering Class A amnestic. Except to you, Roger. We made a grave error releasing you from containment, and will be corrected. She pointed to her administrative assistant to act, but before he could look down, lock down the concert room from which O211 and I were dialed in, Roger was already bolting on the door. I was after him in an instant and was nearly crushed by the bulkhead as it slammed into place. I only wanted to stop him, I think, and now I was outside the safe room too, but he was already out of sight. Superlative idiot. They couldn't see me. They couldn't hear me. They couldn't know that I wanted back in, how badly I wanted to breathe the red gas that was surely already streaming in, streaming into the room on the other side. One instant of poor dot judgment, and my fate is sealed. And now I know what's in store, what is left to do. I ran to the help desk. <coughs> enough eh? for this my final act I love the foundation as I would love a daughter I do this for the security and the protection of mankind and so I beg of you this gnosis must not be erased or forgotten that is not contained that is madness bring us back get us out he's crying I am so frightened what is wrong door bursts open, automatic gunfire from three distinct sources. Clear. 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 Goddamn this job. Job. Bang that Oscar. <laughs> Bang that Oscar. Quick, Miss Sergeant. We still have one to go. Sight breach alarm sound. What now, specialist? to Talk to me. Sir, I'm getting a report of acuter breach in the AR2 compound. Oh, hell. Two room Oscars. And on top of it, now, now the old man is on loose. This is a shit sandwich, sir. Contain that clap, that chatter, Sergeant. Stand by, sir. Negative on 106 escaping. Sir, I'm getting details. Say again, please. It's on the other way. Say again, please. It's the other way around. The other Oscar, he went in. Sir, he went in. 
the hell he did. The official confirmation sir, procedure dictates we treat him. The KIA specialist. KIA. KIA specialist. I know. Let's finish here then. Sir, this Oscar has recorded recording equipment here. It's still running. For the love of the shut it down, Sergeant. Shut it down now. Specialist, get an audio hazard team down here on the dump. So the old man is 106. So is it saying that o 011 Roger went into the old man's dimension? And then the person recording all of this, yeah, the person recording all of this was killed. And is now experiencing the very thing she's talking about. That was a very loud crack my chair made. And then this was the picture, it's a decaying body, it has the rib cage there. I'm assuming the pelvis, arms, legs, and I'm going to assume it looks like a coyote or something eating it. This one fascinates me and is easily one of my favorites as well. It's up there with 3001. Uh, let's see, what else do we got that catches my eye? I know the 3000s have a few interesting ones. Is that just Garfield? terrifying cereal is this madness or madness this thing this thin quiet madness made how long is it yeah it's another lengthy one I don't know if I feel like we're reading another really lengthy one Probably gonna end this soon. Going for almost two hours now. Not a lot in series five. Daniel, and it's a picture of a toilet. Lies. <laughs> you know what? Let's read 999. I like 999. 999 was a happy one to end on. So, 999 will be the last one. SCP-999, safe. It's a nice little short one. Everybody likes 999. Special containment procedures, SCP-999. So I'm reading that because I know that this one is happy. Let's play happy music.
SCP-999 is allowed to freely roam the facility should it desire to, but otherwise must stay in its pen either between 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. for sleeping or during emergency lockdowns, emergency lockdowns for its own safety. The subject is not allowed out of its pen at night or off facility grounds at any times. The pen is to be kept clean and free to life twice daily. All personnel are allowed inside SCP-999's holding area, but only if they are not assigned to any other tasks at the time or if they are on break. The subject is to be played is to be played with when bored and spoken to in a calm, non-threatening tone. SCP-999 appears to be a large and amorphous gelatinous mass of translucent orange slime weighing about 120 pounds, with a consistency similar to that of peanut butter. The subject's size and shape is easily malleable and can change shape at will, though when at rest, 999 becomes a rounded, ovate dome roughly 2 meters wide and 1 meter in height. The surface of 999 consists of a thin transparent membrane similar to that of an animal skin, roughly half a centimeter roughly half a centimeter thick, thick and highly elastic, allowing 999 to flatten portions of its body up to 2 centimeters thin. This surface is also hydrophobic, though 999 can at will fully flatten portions of its body up to 2, two centimeters thin. It, wait, how did I get here again? Willfully flatten portions of its body It will fill the absorbed fluids. See Addendum SCP-999-A. The rest of SCP-999's body is filled with a viscous orange substance of unknown chemical makeup, though it is capable of digesting organic materials with ease. The subject's temperament is best described as a playful, as playful and dog-like. When approaching, 999 will often react with overwhelming elation slithering over to the nearest person and leaping upon them, hugging them with a pair of pseudopods or nuzzling the person's face with a third pseudopod, all, all, all while admitting high-pitched gurgling and cooing noises. The surface of 999 emits a pleasing odor that differs with whoever, whoever is interacting with it. Recording scents include chocolate, fresh laundry, bacon, roses, and play-doh. Plato doesn't smell good, but sure. <laughs> Simply touching 999's surface causes immediate mild euphoria, which intensifies the longer one is exposed to 999 and lasts long after separation from the creature. Mm. Subject's favorite activity is tickle wrestling, also often by completely enveloping a person from the neck down and tickling them until asked to stop though it's not always immediately complied with this request. Though injuries may occur, 999 has never been found to purposely attempt to harm others and will immediately back away and con con contract its body into a quiver quivering mold while guarding in a matter, gurgling in a matter similar to a whimpering dog, seemingly apologizing for hurting someone on accident. While the creature will interact with anybody, with anyone, it seems to have a special interest in those who are unhappy or hurt in any way. Person, persons suffering from crippling depression or PTSD, for example, have reported having a far more positive outlook on life after multiple interactions with 999. The possibility of manufacturing antidepressants from 999's slime is currently being discussed. Where's my mouse? In addition to its playful behavior, 999 seems to love all animals, especially humans, refusing to eat any meat, even risking its own life to save others, on one occasion leaving, leaping in front of a person to take, to take a bullet fired at them. Subject's intellect is still up to debate. Though its behavior is infantile, it seems to understand human speech and most modern technology, including guns. 
999's diet consists entirely of sweet candy and sweets, with M&M's and Necco wafers being its favorites. Its eating methods are similar to those of an amoeba. Amendum, amendum, SCP-998. Reminder to all staff that SCP-998 is not to consume caffeine and soft drinks of any kind. Last week, somebody gave 999 a can of coal along with its usual breakfast. Not only was it literally bouncing off the walls for half an hour, the combination made 999 visibly queasy afterwards, and it refused to move or eat for the rest of the day. 999 has thankfully recovered since, but the staff member in question has been reprimanded. Dr. Redacted. Amendum SCP-999-B. The following is a report from the experiment of which 628 is exposed to 999 in hopes that it will curb the creature's omnicidal om rage. 682, if I remember correctly. 682. Yeah. Lizard. The hard to destroy reptile. It is Keter. And it. It, it is incredibly dangerous, and everybody has tried to kill it. Nobody has succeeded in killing it. SCP-999 was released into SCP-682's containment area. 999 immediately slithers towards 682. I forgot 982 can talk. So, elated gurgles. Unintelligible gurgles. What is that? 999 moves in front of 682, jumping up and down like, like a man, calling out in high-pitched squeal notes. 682, disgusting. 682 immediately steps on 999, completely flattening 999. Observers were about to abort the experiment when 682 started talking again. Hmm? What is this? I feel good. 999 can be seen crawling up between 682's toes, up along its sides and around its necks where it clings on and begins gently nuzzling with its pseudopods. A wide grin slowly spreads across 682's face. <laughs> I feel so happy, 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 happy. 682 repeats the word happy for several minutes, laughing occasionally before escalating into non-stop laughter. laughter. As laughter continues, 682 rolls onto his, back, onto his back, slamming its tail on the floor with dangerous force. No, St stop, no tickling. 682 and 999 continue to continue the tickle fight until 682. This is not a happy song. Okay. Until 682 finally wears down and appears to fall asleep with what would appear to be a smile on its face. After 15 minutes with no activity, two D-class personnel enter the room to retrieve 999. When 999 is removed, 682 immediately wakes up and releasing unleashes an unidentifiable wave of energy from its body, all while laughing maniacally. All persons within all persons within the wave's range collapse into crippling fits of laughter, allowing 682 to escape and slaughter all in its path. Meanwhile, 999 quickly rescues as many persons as it can, taking them to a safe place to recover from 682's slaughter rage, laughter rage. Hmm. Wow. 
Despite the tragedy that 682 has brought upon the facility, 999 has not shown any fear towards the creature, and in fact has made gestures suggesting that it wants to play with 682 again. However, 682 has stated that fluctuant little can data expunged and die. Memo from Dr. Blank. While the tests were unsuccessful and ended in tragedy, that had to be the funniest thing I've ever seen. I never thought I'd see the day where I would regard 682 as cute. Please send me a copy of the security tapes ASAP. I like 999. What? I think 999 is where I shall end it. Actually, actually, there's one thing I want to check out real quick first. And if so, I might take a look at it first for the next one. I think this one is it. So there is an SCP right back there, maybe? Description is very simple. Sheet of paper is escape the cabinet in the top left corner. Top sheet is control the last section of the top sheet of paper. Okay, so yeah, I don't know. So there is an SCP. Is SCP that is effectively the foundation itself the whole concept so think of it not from our perspective from there but from their perspective where this actually exists these creatures are an actual reality and the way that SCP is is that effectively their reality is fiction they find out that their entire reality is nothing but fiction their reality does not truly exist that scp is quite literally the website within our reality, the actual true reality. And like that that's as meta as it can get. This is um ooh, hang on. Yeah, uh, see if I can re find um 
I'm not a, I, I can't find anything on it. I know it exists, I heard about it, but I can't find any actual, like an actual article for it. Um, yeah, that, that is, I like the SCP Foundation. I think it's super cool. Uh, I might come back to it at some point. Go through some more. Could be interesting. I definitely enjoyed actually just going through and reading some of them. Some of them are new that I haven't read before, like the uh, Find Him I've never read before, the Cereal Box I've never read that one before. I never read through the entirety of. Uh, never read through the entirety. Where is it? Of this one. What happens after? It's the first time I read through all of that one. Dot dot dot. Right. It's another one. Like I never heard of it. Shit's interesting. Yeah, yeah. I might come back here at some point. Might like might look through some of the um, SCP-001 proposals because those ones are really interesting. I haven't seen all of them. Only seen a few, but we'll see. Until then.